This video will introduce you to the art teachers at Brambleton Middle School, as well as go over the courses offered for art. As you probably know, all students are required to take art as sixth graders, and you take it for one semester. But moving forward, in seventh and eighth grade, art becomes an elective, which means you choose whether or not it is something you are interested in and wishing to learn more about. The materials needed for all art classes are the same. You will need a hardbound sketchbook and a pencil, but all other supplies will be provided for you in the art classroom. Hello, I'm Mr. Teal, and I'll be teaching seventh grade art next year, along with the other art teachers. The difference between seventh grade and sixth grade art is it's only 45 minutes long, but it's the full year. So we will take what you've learned in sixth grade art and we'll extend what we do to make more complicated projects and advance your skill level. For example, we'll be doing some paper mache projects. We may do some printmaking. We like to throw in a little graffiti. We'll do some realistic work, such as in pastel possibly in pencil also. And there'll be a lot more surprises up our sleeves for seventh grade art. We hope you sign up. I'm Mrs. Teal and I teach eighth grade 3D art. In eighth grade 3D art, you basically learn how to create sculptures. So we learn how to make additive and subtractive sculptures. Additive sculptures meaning that you add materials together like clay. This is a ceramic fireplace candle holder that we created this year. Also, we do use the pottery wheels. We learn how to create very small wheel thrown pottery. We also um, do some additive work using cardboard and other materials too, where we sculpt and build things together. In addition, we do subtractive work where we actually use tools to carve. We carve tiki's, we carve styrofoam, we even carve soap. Yes, this is a sculpture made from one bar of soap. In addition, we create paper mache sculptures and use some other various materials. So if you're excited about learning how to use tools and how to build, 3D art is more for you. But we do also do a lot of research and we learn a lot about artists and art styles. We keep a visual journal that we work in daily. We do art artist research pages where we create sketch notes, we do sketching in our sketchbooks, and have various art assignments. You also are expected to sketch on a regular basis to plan out your ideas for your sculptural projects because it's really important to still be able to draw and visualize what you want to create three-dimensionally. So when choosing between 8th grade art and 8th grade 3D art, number one, you need to know you must have taken 7th grade art to take 3D art in 8th grade. Besides that, it's up to you what you prefer. Hope this helps you make your decisions. Hi, this is Mr. McCarthy and I'm one of the 8th grade art teachers here at Brambleton Middle School. I'm here today to talk to you about 8th grade art. Eighth grade art is a continuation of sixth grade and seventh grade art. Uh, it's a survey course, meaning that we do a variety of different materials. Uh, we study a variety of different uh, art concepts, different artists, um, but essentially it's very similar to sixth and seventh grade art. One difference between eighth grade art and 3D art is that while we may do some 3D projects, like these clay whistles, not everything is 3D. We do a variety of two-dimensional projects as well. Uh, one thing we will be doing is a process that I've discovered called Pastel Resist, where we use stencils and oil pastels and acrylic paint to create a variety of different images. Uh, we'll explore uh, perspective drawing, uh, a skill which is used uh, greatly in illustration, uh, things like manga, animation, etc. Uh, we'll also explore op art. Uh, we'll do a variety of different painting projects using tempera paint, acrylic paint, uh, watercolors, etc. 
So as you can see, there's a lot that we do. One thing that's really important for you to uh, keep in mind is that as eighth graders, you'll be required to keep a visual journal. Uh, this is required. It's one of our uh, state SOLs, and so it will be an assessment. This will be your uh, notebook. It'll be your sketchbook. It'll be where you brainstorm ideas, uh, where you do research. Um, so this is probably one of the most important parts of the class. Uh, so anyway, we're looking forward to having you in eighth grade art. Don't forget to sign up. And if you like what you see, like, hit the like button down below. Thanks.